Are you a fan of relational databases like MySQL, but don't quite want to contend with all the issues that come along with scaling like replication, sharding, thrashing, flapping? Well, introducing Google Cloud SQL. This is a fully managed SQL solution, and we're gonna show you exactly how to use it in this video today. Let's get started. So to demonstrate this capability, we're going to use uh, Google Cloud Marketplace, which is just a repository of pre-configured um, images and we are going to specifically look for a LAMP image. So LAMP is an acronym that stands for Linux Apache MySQL PHP. It's probably one of the most common uh, web stacks and the reason that will help demonstrate this is MySQL is going to be pre-installed on that VM instance but what we're going to do is once we have this um, VM up and running, we're gonna swap out the local MySQL instance for the Cloud SQL instance. So the MySQL that's installed on this VM is subject to the resources of the VM. So you can only put into the database as much data as um, the VM itself has room for. But if we remove the local instance of MySQL and instead proxy it to the cloud instance of SQL, we get that fully managed solution that will scale without any um, work on our end. All right, it looks like our instance is ready here. And again, this is a virtual machine that just has those different packages pre-installed and ready to go. And it also provisions us with a lot of useful utilities, like for instance, PHP My Admin. So actually, let's start playing around with this a tiny bit. So I'm going to load PHP My Admin, and this gives us a user interface into the um, MySQL database that was installed. The credentials should be right here. So the um, uh, username is gonna be root and then uh, it will generate like a random password. So now we can see our database here, so this looks good. Um, but let's actually log into our server. So I'm going to click SSH. Let's also um, pull up our website component. So part of it is Apache, right? And Apache should be serving web traffic. Um, they gave us this IP address here. So technically, if I go here, I should get the um, default website that is served up and I do so Apache Debian default page um, I should be able to edit that website let's go ahead and validate that so I'm just gonna open index with Vim and in theory I should be able to search for some of this text so if I search for Apache 2 uh, let's see here okay so this text here corresponds to what we're seeing on the site there so I should be able to delete that line and put in uh, my own text and then save that. And if I reload this, we should see that reflected. We do. So Apache is serving up this static uh, HTML page, but PHP should also be installed on here. So if I do PHP hyphen V, yep, PHP 7.4.9. So the question is, how would we migrate this over to Cloud SQL, which is a much more robust um, database solution? It's more robust because the MySQL instance is not confined to this VM. It's gonna be scalable and it's, it would live in its own cloud instance and Google would manage that scaling. So why don't we play around with some of the MySQL commands first? All right, so I just quickly whipped together a PHP file here that's, that would connect to the MySQL database and pull some data and print it out. So um, we're connecting to localhost. The database name is MySQL. So when, LAMP, when the LAMP stack was installed, a bunch of these table names and databases were already created. And there's one, a default one called MySQL that just has info around MySQL. So this is a database name. So I'm gonna supply that in there. Um, the, the login credentials, username and password come from here, root and then this guy. And then for the SQL uh, syntax, um, we're going to do select asterisk, which will select everything from, and then you supply the table name. So if we expand the database, there are different table names, and I'm going to just query the help topic table. And so I put help topic in there. And then we're just going to quickly iterate over all the rows and print out um, the values that are in the name column. So there's a column here called name and we'll just print those out. So 
I can save that and I can just run PHP index and you can see it's printing out um, all these different uh, headers here. So that looks good. So we have a way to connect uh, from our uh, VM instance to the MySQL instance. Well, let's connect to the Cloud SQL instance. So we're going to go over to GCP and then we're going to look for SQL and we're going to go ahead and create our Cloud SQL instance. We're going to create MySQL. All right, so you generate a root password here. So I'm just going to copy that guy. Okay, so there's different ways to connect to the SQL database. We're going to start out by using the public IP just to make sure that we can um, establish that connection. So if I take this IP address and I swap it for what we were previously using as localhost, and then the new credentials are, it's still root, um, but we want to use the password that was generated, so let's just double check that. Yeah, root, and then I have my password over in text edit here. So in SQL, if I come over to connections, and then I peruse this here, and I look for public IP, and that's what we're currently trying to do, a public IP connection. It says, you have no authorized external networks to connect to your Cloud SQL instance. External applications can still connect to instance through Cloud SQL proxy. So basically, um, it doesn't allow connections from any random origin. You have to allow list the origin um, that you want to be able to connect. And I believe that's just an IP address thing. So let's do add network. We'll call this um, you know, our LAMP stack. And then I think our IP address is just this guy right here. So I'll just snap it from right here. All right, so we're essentially allow listing that IP address and that should help us here. So let's see, okay. So let's go ahead and try to connect again. Okay, so I just modified our PHP script a little bit um, to select data from user um, and then print out uh, each row there. And when I run this, um, I do get data returned. So not only are we connecting to Cloud SQL, but we're able to pull data from it. Um, so that's great. And we could use um, these credentials here to swap out, you know, the PHP my admin configuration, you know, maybe we're using WordPress, and we could just pass these new credentials. And then instead of referencing the local MySQL instance, we would be referencing the Cloud SQL instance. Um, the only thing that we haven't talked about yet is this connection is done over HTTP, also known as a public um, open non-secure network. So we'd probably want to connect over SSL and uh, GCP obviously encourages that. So let's go ahead and run through that example as well. Um, we don't have to change a whole lot here, but we do need to just accommodate for the, for the SSL connection, the TLS handshake. So let's go back over to GCP um, and let's go to connections. So one thing you could do is you could use a private IP and that is uh, that would be helpful as far as security goes. But you might also want to connect over SSL. So I'm going to create a client certificate here. So we're going to download all of these here. Um, but we do need to get them into our uh, VM here. So one thing we can do is I'm going to just, well, what we could do is I believe we can just upload. So upload file. All right, we're going to upload uh, these three guys here. And then let's see where these go. All right, so when you upload files, they go to home and then there'll be a directory with your username. And that's where the files are. So let's see if we can connect using SSL. All right, this is what this was the command they gave us. So let's try that. And then password is this guy here. Okay, and it looks like we connected. Okay, so we're looking at the MySQL database. And then I'm going to run show tables. 
and you can see all the tables here. So we just connected from the command line using MySQL. We could also do it from PDO actually. So let's do that real quick. Server hyphen CA, client hyphen cert, that's right. And then client hyphen key, that's also right. So let's give this a shot. So now we're trying to connect to our Cloud SQL server with SSL. So I'm just gonna do PHP and it worked. So connecting over SSL is probably the way to go. You can even lock down the, um, you can lock down the SQL instance to only allow, uh, only allow SSL connections. You can use a private IP instead of the public IP. There's all, all different things you can do. Um, but that's the gist of it. So if you have WordPress or you have some sort of application using um, MySQL that you're managing and you're hosting and you want to offload that to Google and let them take care of scaling, you just swap out the config. You swap out the reference to the local MySQL instance and then you reference the remote MySQL instance. Anyways, thanks for listening. If you want to be kept apprised of a lot of the latest emerging tech, especially around Google Cloud Platform, artificial intelligence, and Internet of Things, then definitely subscribe to this channel and that will help you keep your skill set sharp and valuable. Anyways, thanks for listening.